다가오는 크리스마스를 맞이해 플로리다로 여행을 가기로 한 케빈의 가족들. Honey, are you packed yet? Yes. Yes. 최근에 녹음기가 생긴 케빈은 하루 종일 녹음기를 가지고 장난을 치고 있었습니다. 그날 밤 크리스마스 하계회에서 합창 공연을 하는 케빈과 버즈. 버즈에게 사과를 하지 않아 결국 다락방으로 쫓겨난 케빈. Then he called me a trout sniffer. He didn't mean what he said. He was just sucking up to you. Then you can stay up here the rest of the night. Fine. I don't want to be down there anyway. I can't trust anybody in this family. And you know what? If I had my own money, I'd go on my own vacation. Well, you got your wish last year. Maybe you'll get it again this year. I hope so. 올해 크리스마스에도 늦잠을 자는 바람에 정신없이 여행 준비를 하는 케빈의 가족들. Where's Kevin? 14. It's a good thing I have my own ticket, just in case you guys try to ditch me. Dad, I need batteries. What? I got some batteries in my bag. I'll give them to you on the plane. Here's two more. Thanks for the card. Well, why can't I get them? Not now. Thank you. Hey, you better hurry up. It's the last gate, all the way down. What gate is it? Kevin, you gonna take my bag? You gonna take my bag? Come on. American Airlines Flight 226 to New York is now in the final boarding process. 다른 사람을 아빠로 착각해 플로리다가 아닌 뉴욕 행 비행기를 타게 된 케빈. Bad memories. That's all. We did everything. We brought everything. We have everybody. Excuse me. 
but this is an emergency. Yes, sir? What city is that over there? That's New York, sir. Yikes, I did it again. 그렇게 오래해도 가족과 떨어지게 된 케빈은 걱정은커녕 신이 나 있었습니다. 케빈은 아빠의 카드로 뉴욕 이곳저곳을 돌아다니며 관광을 즐기고 있었죠. 이제는 케빈을 잃어버리는데 해탈해버린 부모님 그리고 뉴욕에 와 있던 건 케빈뿐만이 아니었습니다. 감옥을 탈옥한 해리와 마부는 뉴욕에서 한탕을 노리고 있었죠. Every little bit helps. Besides, now we got our new nickname. We're the Sticky Bandits. 같은 시간 숙소를 구하기 위해 호텔로 향하던 케빈은 수상한 비둘기 아줌마를 보게 되고. Sick. How do you do? This is Peter McAllister, the father. I'd like a hotel room, please. Credit card? You got it. Plaza Hotel Reservations may help you. How do you do? This is Peter McAllister. Kevin은 녹음기에 있는 음성 변조 기능을 이용해 손쉽게 호텔을 예약합니다. Can I help you? Reservation for McAllister? A reservation for yourself. I'm traveling with my dad. He's on business. He's at a meeting. Give me his credit card. I said whoever was checking people in to let me in the hotel room, so I won't get to mischief. 혼자서 호텔을 체크인하는 케빈을 유심히 지켜보는 지배인. And find out everything you can about that young fellow. Merry Christmas. No sign of him. Kevin was looking in my bag at the airport. He was looking for batteries. Kevin has my wallet. Did you have credit cards in the wallet? Credit cards, money. We'll notify the credit card companies immediately. If your son has the cards, we can get a location on him when and if he uses them. No, I don't think Kevin even knows how to use a credit card. 엄마의 걱정과 달리 케빈은 아빠의 카드를 이용해 흥청망청 즐기고 있었죠. You was here, and you was smooching with my brother. That's a dirty rotten lie, Johnny. Don't give me that. You've been smooching with everybody. Snuffy, Al, Leo. You got me all wrong. I believe you, but my Tommy gun don't. That's why I'm gonna let you go. Low down, four flush and carcass. Out my door. She's rapid. One, two. <웃음> Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. 잠시 뒤 케빈이 수상하다고 생각한 지배인은 방으로 찾아오게 되고. Get out of here, you nosy little pervert! I'm gonna slap you silly. Ah. 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 This is really a nice store. One of the finer toy dealerships I've ever visited in my life. Oh, well, thank you. This Mr. Duncan must be a pretty nice guy. He loves kids. As a matter of fact, all the money the store takes in today, Mr. Duncan is donating it to the children's hospital. And, and, and the day after Christmas, we empty out all the money in the cash register, and Mr. Duncan just takes it right down to the hospital. 케빈이 들어간 던칸 장난감 가게는 12월 수익금을 전액 기부할 계획이었죠. I'm not supposed to spend this money, but I have twenty dollars from shoveling snow in a jar in our garage, so you can give this to Mr. Duncan. The hospital needs it more than I do. 
기부금을 보태고 밖으로 나가던 케빈은 자신과 이야기한 할아버지가 장난감 가게 주인 덩칸이라는 사실을 알게 됩니다. 그리고 이곳에서 뜻밖의 인물들과 만나게 되죠. Yes, sir. <coughs> I was. You was here, and you were smooching with my brother. I'm afraid you're mistaken, sir. Don't give me that. You've been smooching with everybody. Snuffy, Al, Leo, Cheeks, Bony Bob, Cliff. <gasps> no. It's a lie. I believe you. But my Tommy gun don't. One, two, <laughs> Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. Stay in your rooms. This is an emergency. <laughs> Spent nine months in jail thinking we had the worst luck in the universe. We were wrong, little buddy. We're busted out of the clink and we're doing fine. We're gonna be doing even better. At midnight tonight, we're hitting Duncan's toy chest. Duncan 장난감 가게를 털 계획을 세우고 있던 해리와 마부. You wanna shut up? What's the difference? He's not gonna talk to anybody. I got a gun in my pocket. You open your mouth and you'll be spitting gum out through your forehead. What? Oh. Thanks. <웃음> 그렇게 도망치는 데 성공한 케빈은 뉴욕에 살고 있는 큰아빠의 집을 찾아갑니다. Hello? 하지만 케빈의 큰아빠는 리모델링 때문에 집을 비워놓은 상태였죠. 그렇게 혼자 남은 케빈은 점점 겁에 질려가고 있었습니다. <목소리> 무서운 어른들을 피해 공원으로 숨는 케빈 그리고 이곳에서 비둘기 아줌마와 재회하죠 <목소리> 놀라서 도망치던 도중 무언가 깨달은 케빈 Just trying to help, right? I've seen you before. You have pigeons all over you. They must be all over you because they like you. They can hear it. Where가 풀린 케빈은 태어나서 처음으로 뉴욕의 친구를 만들게 됩니다. 그리고 또 다시 거리를 배회하던 도중 덩칸 할아버지가 기부하기로 한 병원 앞을 지나가게 되죠. 
mess with a lot of things. Can't mess with kids on Christmas. 어린이 병원의 기부금을 지키기 위해 도둑들과 싸우기로 결심하는 케빈. 그렇게 케빈은 비어있는 큰아빠의 집을 이용해 계획을 세우기 시작합니다. 한편 경찰의 연락을 받고 뉴욕으로 온 케빈의 부모님. What kind of hotel allows a child to check in alone? Well, I mean when you discovered that the credit card was stolen. What I made the discovery. You scared him away. It's Christmas Eve and because of you, our child is lost in one of the biggest cities in the world. Crowbar is up. Time robbing private homes. He took our picture. How did my hair look? This is it. No turning back. Get the one. Get the one. I'll kill you. Right up. Dirty. Direct it. Okay, kid. You want to throw bricks? Go ahead. Throw another one. Come on! If you can't do any better than that, kid, you're gonna lose. Marv, get up. You don't have any more bricks. He's out of it. <laughs> What? Let me get back up. Wow. Let me get back up. Oh, oh. That did it. Nobody throws bricks at me and gets away with it. Come on, Marv, get up. You go this way. I'm going around the back.
You gotta do better than this, kid! Kid always wins against two idiots. Hey! He's in the living room! Bring up you! Get up! Bring it! And kerosene. Merry Christmas. Go up! The 
two guys who wrapped up story chest are in the park, Central Park West and 95th Street. Look for fireworks. Hurry, they got a gun. My, how the tables have turned. 결국 도둑들에게 잡혀 공원으로 끌려가게 되는 케빈. I never made it to the sixth grade, kid. Let him go! Kevin, run! Excuse me, Mr. Duncan? Yes. I found this note. Looks like a kid broke your window. Huh. Dear Mr. Duncan, I broke your window to catch the bad guys. I'm sorry. Do you have insurance? If you don't, I'll send you some money. If I ever get back to Chicago. Merry Christmas, Kevin McAllister. <laughs> I'm looking for my son. Have you seen my son? He's there. He's been missing for two days. Well, have you filed a report, ma'am? Yes, of course we have. I realize that, ma'am, but you're looking for a needle in a haystack. And what would you do if one of them was missing? Look, put yourself in your kid's shoes. Where would you go? What would you do? Oh, dear God. I know where he is. I don't want any presents. If it isn't possible, I can see all of them. Can I just see my mother? I know I won't see her tonight. Promise me I can see her again. Sometime, anytime. Kevin. 드디어 케빈은 엄마와 다시 재회하게 되죠. Let's go. How'd you know I was here? Well, I know you and Christmas trees, and this is the biggest one around. 그리고 케빈에게 감사의 표시로 크리스마스 선물을 보낸 덩칸 할아버지. Who's Mr. Duncan? Duncan. 그렇게 또한번 잊을 수 없는 크리스마스를 맞이하며 영화는 끝이 납니다. 오늘 영화는 나홀로 집의 2편입니다. 1편이 대박을 치면서 1편보다 볼거리가 많은 2편이 만들어졌는데요. 아무래도 도둑들이 당하는 장면이 인기가 많아서 그런지 2편은 1편보다 더 지독해진 모습이었습니다. 솔직히 이 정도면 죽지 않나 싶을 정도로 조금 심하게 괴롭히기는 하더라고요. 이런 영화야말로 90년대 낭만의 시대에만 만들 수 있는 명작 중에 명작이라고 할수 있겠네요. 이런 재밌는 요소를 빼고 그냥 영화만 보더라도 세세하게 떡밥을 뿌려가며 스토리가 진행되기 때문에 스토리 개연성도 뛰어나고 완성도가 굉장히 높은 영화였습니다. 만약에 크리스마스 때이 영화를 집에서 혼자 보고 있다면 힘내시기 바랍니다. 감사합니다. 풍산비디오였습니다.